I, I came out of this weekend with several burning questions. I actually had 10 or 11. Cody Wentz at our producer made us cut it down to five. So it's not his show. It's your one. show. You tell us Wait, what to do. Is, you go 10 is, questions. We if are you a want. team. It is a collaborative effort. Yeah. Johnny Manziel, I feel like we haven't been talking about him that much, especially in the Heisman race. It's been Mariota and Winston. Better sophomore year, you think, for Manziel than maybe his freshman campaign. Now he's not running quite as much, but you can't really blame him because he has to force everything a little bit more. No defense. He's got a lot more pressure on his shoulders this year. I'm not going to say it's a better year than last year, but certainly he's number three in the Heisman race. He's been fantastic. Texas 5-0 in the Big 12. We weren't sure the impact of Red Robinson coming on in the third game of the season is the new D coordinator. How much credit does he get for them being undefeated in the Big 12? How about just credit just for in general that Texas has kind of turned this around? But yeah, you've got to give him some of the love for this. I mean, they're tackling better, they're playing better, and now Texas is starting to look good. They're still shaky. They're not obliterating everybody like they probably should be, but hey, they're undefeated in Big 12 play. They're on a fast track to get to the Fiesta Bowl. You gotta give him some credit for doing all right. USC, the general thought with Ed Orgeron was that he was basically a placeholder until, until South, Southern yep. Cal figured out who was gonna replace Lane Kiffin. Three and one since Coach O took over. Huge win against Oregon State. Should they take the interim tag off him? I don't know. Him Jack Del Rio is going to get his chance to show what he can do at Denver. Now, uh, he's winning now. How do you take him out of this thing? He's been he's done a great job of riding the ship, and they're going to go to a bowl game. They're playing extremely well. They're playing hard for him. It's going to be tough not to make him their head, the permanent head coach. There was a lot of speculation over the weekend that former Bears coach Lovey Smith had talked to USC. His son, Matt, who also serves as his agent, yep. vehemently denying that, so conflicting reports there. Maddie Mock leading Mizzou to a win over Tennessee Saturday. Three pass touchdowns led the team in rushing, but it seems like James Franklin's ready to come back. What does Gary Pinkle do? I think you stay with Mock for right now. There's no reason to change it. Mock's been great, but you know you've got Franklin in the relief. You know, make sure he's 100% healthy. Get him back. Then you put Franklin back maybe late in the year. You need these next couple wins. Missouri's probably going to play for the SEC championship. You give Franklin a couple more weeks to heal up, and then you put him back in. Miami did lose to Florida State over the weekend, but they are the only one-loss team in the Coastal Division. They got Virginia Tech at home this weekend, but no Duke Johnson. Yep. So can the Canes survive, you think, Pete, without their top running back? Yes, they can survive and get to the ACC championship, and they'll get obliterated again by Florida State. You know, survives all relative. Yeah, they can get there. I just I just don't think they're going to do anything special and they certainly can't upset uh, the Knowles without Duke Johnson.